I'm liking this already. So we'll see how it plays out. You noob, I want to see what's going to happen right out the gate. And Destructive already going for the fireball. I like that is perfect. That's exactly how you need to play it, right? Get the fireball off. And as soon as the orb is behind you, just dash in there. Yeah. That was perfect timing for Destructive. Yeah, once you get that hit, that orb no longer does anything. Uh, or you can throw like Destructive did and use the invincibility during the throw animation. Back to your noob zoning as much as possible. Nice using that V skill one. Oh, caught him with the crouching light kick and we almost had the combo confirmed. And look at this, just like that. Your noob now with the life lead. And I think Destructive missed the knee drop. I think he thought he had the charge, but you saw him just kind of like the little jumping light kick there. Oh, the recall. Oh, I thought it was going to punish the recall, but it wasn't in time. Yeah, it wasn't even actually, race, it to was be honest. Too, it was actually too far. Right, uh, right. Just went right past her. There you go, building the shield. Yep, there's, like I said, there's that chariot attack. Oh, oh nice. you can punish that. Yeah, you can, if you negative edge it, or actually, you can still press a button. I like this from your noob. Like, even if you're blocking the knee drop, you're still able to get an orb out. But either yeah. way, your noob with the awareness, this is going to be kind of tough for destructive once that trigger is out. Yeah, and that was nice too. He caught Destructive walking backwards. He walked at Destructive a little bit, then all of a sudden just snuck out that low attack, caught him walking backwards, able to link into the orb. Great control over the character. If people don't know, like, you have to hold, those six orbs are controlled by the six buttons you have. And when you let go of the button, that triggers one of the specific orbs. So in order to trigger some of those orbs in the right time, you have to have that button held down ahead of time. Absolutely right. And again, you do making great work at that V-Skill, by the way, to nullify the fireballs too. All block on the overhead. He's not going to be reversal out. You see Destructive thinking the reversal was coming. He backed off specifically oh. for that read. And that EX headbutt was made safe because it bounced oh. right What an escape that using the soul so throw. Sick. That was then, so sick. Oh my god. Dude, and then he's he no went longer the, your noob. He is your pro. He is your boy. <laughs> Dude, he went for the V skill off of the, the 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 fireball, off of the metallic sphere. He got hit because he missed the timing on it. And Destructive thought, as soon as he saw him got hit, okay, that's my time to go in. The thing about it was, Yanub had already released two orbs going across the screen from the V trigger. So he saw him not get hit. He's like, time for me to go in. And then those two <laughs> orbs just caught him by surprise out of nowhere, man. It was all a ploy, was... James. It was all a ploy, <laughs> right? He intentionally mistimed the V skill to get hit. Right, and he's like, right. ha ha, boom, here comes the orbs. I like that. It was like, you know, you, you fake getting hit and then you have like the uh, the little little shine on the eyes, little anime form, just like, hey, hey, that's what I wanted you to think. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, man. Very excellent right. showing there from your noob. Good awareness and just overall good control. I got to say, he didn't take any unnecessary risk. And you could kind of see that, too, with Desnier when Desnier let that mirror out. And that last sequence, right, with the Aegis Reflector, you would think that your noob wanted to go for a V-reversal. And that's exactly what Des... Or excuse me, not Desnier. Destructive thought as well. Destructive backed away. He backed that just in anticipation of your noob's via reversal, but he just stood his ground. He's like, I'm willing to play defense against your Aegis Reflector. There hasn't been a single overhead or even target combo overhead that you've hit me with, so I'm not even going to fear that. You can toe-tap me all you want. I still have the reactions to block overhead. Right. So your noob looking really strong right now. Uh, curious to see right now if we went back to the lobbies maybe for a V trigger, V skill change, or even a character change or something. Uh, I'm wondering what he feels like might be able to help him again. He was at 1 1, but <gasps> look at this. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, the pick. This is an interesting choice because Yanub just Round beat one. Desnier. What you're saying about this is that my Zeku is better than Desnir Zeku. Well, that's not necessarily true because he has to get a W on the board and he has to actually beat your new first to make that statement. True, true. I'm just trying to instigate things here, that's all. That's fair. Oh, I would have jumped in. that ship with you. Oh. Wow, I can't believe that hit. That missed so many times against Desnir. 
Very Dash fortunate. twice over the tech. Very important here. And now he tried to get a block string going with the with the recall. Just wasn't plus enough because he went for the slide option. Mm -hmm. I think the slide might have even actually hit after the orb, which will override the block stun, unfortunately. True. Very true. That's exactly what happened. And there you go. Dropping the bomb as a way to work yourself in there. You can see, interestingly enough, the way Destructive is playing uh, young Zeku. Definitely a lot more defensive. He got the hit, but he couldn't keep the combo going. All right. And stand the block. Oh, stand blocking fine. that heavy kick. That's really important when you, he's in young Zeku and he throws that heavy kick. If you're crouching, it's plus or safe at least. Uh, I think it's what, zero or I, I can't remember the exact frame data, but when you're standing, then it's minus. And so you knew blocking that standing actually allowed him to take his turn. Right. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. I think it's uh, when you're crouching, he's at zero. He's even. It's because it hits at the tail end of the, the actual hit. Right, exactly, exactly. I'm just trying to look at I'm just trying to look up the exact numbers for you guys here. It's like zero and then minus two, right? I think I so. Think. I think so, yeah. Yeah, it should be. We should flip incoming. The punish is there. Even if he gets hit, your noob is absolutely ready for it. We're gonna see another reset incoming. Yeah, there it is. Oh, nice V shift there from Destructive. Doesn't want any part of the orbs, but the orbs are still oh. coming. The throw bait is there from your noob. No. Oh, boy. But a combo drop, and there is the downside to being a Monat player is that, you know, like I said, releasing those orbs, it's not like when you buffer medium punch into a DP. Like, you just do the DP, and it'll come out on the first frame that it can. It's all kind of nicely timed for you. Releasing those orbs is a lot lot of manual timing and as a result there's a lot of opportunity for you to drop those combos very true oh there you go Desnir, the zeku expert in the chat confirms it is zeros on most characters uh against crouching characters so there you go thank you plus five on hit as well so wait Ooh. it's not like zero all across the board on a crouching character that's interesting I guess. So apparently on some characters, it's a minus one, minus two. I thought it was based off of active frames not being able to hit, I, you know, standing I characters. I thought the same way. Yeah, yeah. I, thought that was the, I thought that was the same way. How interesting. Oh, checks the dash. And then actually that last hit, was that part of the combo? I, I think you missed that last hit, but it worked. I'm not sure. I didn't see the combo count continue, so you might be right, honestly. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, taking that first game over your noob. And maybe this is kind of the strategy as well, right? You just fought Desnir. Desnir obviously playing a very different style than how Destructive is playing it. And so maybe you kind of have the feeling he's going to do the similar things to Desnir. You're, you're, you're gearing your strategy based off of that and maybe throwing you for a little bit of a loop here. But it is one to one now between the players and the character change is working out. Uh, I get that you're kind of like gearing towards getting that W with Zeku and, and, and trying to figure out what uh, Desnir was doing prior and, and kind of like, you know, using those strategies and, and making it your own, really. But you got to feel a little guilty after that, right? It's like, yeah, I, I saw you <laughs> play against or play as Zeku earlier. I'm going to see if I can do it better. Right. <laughs> well, Desnir was really close fighting the noob, so, you know. It's hard to hard to do better than Desnir did. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, there is a chance. There is a chance right now. Uh, it forced Yanub to actually go back into the lobby. We're going to reassess the situation here with Yanub. Uh, I'm thinking to myself, would V skill two be a little bit better? Being able to combo into it, get Oki, as well as build that yeah. V gauge more consistently or more often than not. Um, I wasn't too aware. Again, I can't remember if Yanub picked V skill one in that matchup. I think for sure. For sure, V-Skill 2 would be a little bit more beneficial. Actually, no, we did see that V-Skill 1 earlier. There was a sequence where he actually got an opening and was too far for the V-Skill to connect for a combo. So mm, I think V-Skill 2 okay. might be the changeup for you, noob. Yeah, probably. Definitely has a little bit more utility. Don't have to, you know, against Yuri and having V-Skill 1 to be able to deflect fireballs, for example, is a nice thing to have uh, to try to win the zoning game versus Yuri. But against Zeku, you're not going to get that kind of a situation. It would be just for combos and such. And in that situation, why not go for the, you know, the, the orb, basically the... the, the what do you want to call it? The dashing orb? Orb dash? <laughs> for which? Orb for charge? 
Orb charge? You, probably. Because we used to always call Rose's move the shawl charge, right? And so I guess we'd have to call this one the orb charge, you know, just to kind of go with the same thematic uh, naming scheme. I'm calling it V-Skill 2. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't, we don't but use no, real absolutely. names for some moves here. We use all the nicknames. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what confused me growing up. Come on, guys. <laughs> that was your fault. I'm just kidding. Oh, nice. See, look what happens if the orb is out and she does the, the drill. What is it called then? <laughs> right. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> All right, here comes Sakamoto kicking her in the face. I like the timing of it. It was oh, perfect. Pressure in old Zeku pressure as well. Nice, Ooh. yeah. Just using V skill to, to challenge. And like you said, having the ability to recall the orb off of that is really nice. Good combo here. Pushes him back, but actually goes right back in. Here we go. You're taking a lot of block here. You're going to get down to no health. Tried no. to go for the mix-up, but didn't release yeah. the orb in the air. Missed that somehow, but no punish from Destructive. He was supposed to release one of the orbs before the soul throw so that it moves at the same time she does, and it creates the ambiguous cross-up. But right. the move ended up just releasing it at an awkward timing where he just missed completely. Luckily for him, he still maintained the round, so that's a, a huge thing he needs to fix up if he wants to try to take over the, the entire set. Yeah, but one of the most impressive things about the way Yanub has been playing, you know, we know Monada's a zoning character, we know she wants to keep you out, but Yanub has had some really good pressure as well, which has been the most impressive thing for me. He's doing a good job switching because, you know, your opponent can eventually learn your rhythm on defense to find their way in, but if you switch it up between defense and offense, it's harder for them to get the whole, get a hold of your rhythm and find where the gaps are in your zoning. Oh. Oh, oh I like that. He caught destructive moving forward. Not going to be enough. Don't get hit yeah. by the medium punch. We knew it. It was coming out. I have to, have to check on the low to see if there was going to be uh, a movement option. Stand medium punch was the perfect call out immediately after because of the the range it has. Right, and one of the underrated things about that is that was the EX upper as well. When you throw the regular upper, it goes all the way across the screen, but he threw out the EX one so it didn't move that far. And when he got the, sol the, the orb explosion, it was close enough, close enough to catch Destructive. So just really good decision-making by Yanub. Oh gosh, two jump-ins now. I like the yeah, contest now from Destructive, one. keeping it more compact. There's the anti-air. That's what I'm talking about. Keep your new contained in this corner. No. Oh. Oh. Oof. Oh, trade, a trade, but that works out in favor of Yanub. He's gonna go for a reset. Yeah, just goes for the throw. He's still got four orbs waiting for him over there to be used. Here comes that was two so of them. sneaky too. Did you see the lower orb come in after she jumped so that you can't tell where it's gonna be? This guy is yeah. sneaky. Oh. This man's a cheater! Your noob is now one round away from getting into grand finals. Can destructive do this? Your noob here with a good start on that whiff punish. I'm telling you, man, if your noob takes it down, we're going to be paying him a visit for some dim sum on him. You know what I'm saying? But here comes Destructive, still trying to find an opening. That's a good time of V-reversal, but right now he has to back off. Your noob has just been controlling the pace so well. See, you just messed everything up, Jeremy, because I haven't had dim sum in a long time. Sounds mad good. Let's go, your noob. <laughs> Oh, you knew I'm just kidding. No, destructive again. He still has it in the bag, or at least has some some rounds left. But yeah. as it stands right now, Yunuba's just done such a great job of controlling the space. Destructive cannot find the opening yet. Even using the V-Skill 2s, right? Using Sakamoto, using the Eagle for the bomb. It hasn't been enough, but maybe this young Zeku play might be it. No, he's been letting Yunub out of the corner too many times. Okay, well, there we go. The toss back in, and here comes the pressure now. Oh, but the orb, the activation, the ability to get his own pressure. In this situation, nice! Just using that EX gram. Block on the overhead, but the bomb is still there. Another block on the oh, overhead, no. but he's got a combo off of 
to crouch light kicks. Is this going to kill? It is. Yanu has made it into grand finals. He had the orb recall coming there.